The Middle East has become a rapidly growing market for AI data centers. Recently, semiconductor stocks, including NVIDIA, experienced a small pause after news emerged that the Biden administration is considering a cap on the export of advanced semiconductors to specific countries. However, this was only a brief break in NVIDIA's impressive upward trend. Given NVIDIA's strong momentum, will an export cap affect the company's growth? Let's examine the proposed chip export cap and its potential impact on NVIDIA's stock. Before we begin, this video is not an investment advice and must do your own diligence. However, with my experience investing for years, the content from this video has a solid research foundation. Check our patron on the description below for an inside members only access on what are the best buys now. We will also update you on what to sell for gains or to avoid losses. Subscribe to our channel so you will never miss out. Chipcat proposal. A report from Bloomberg indicates that the Biden administration is considering imposing restrictions on the sale of certain advanced chips. This action would involve capping sales to specific countries by limiting export licenses due to national security concerns. The countries affected appear to be primarily from the Middle East. In an ironic twist, this report comes just after the Commerce Department relaxed rules to provide the Middle East with easier access to advanced artificial intelligence chips. Saudi Arabia is leading the charge in developing data centers in the region. Earlier this year, the New York Times reported that the country plans to invest $40 billion in artificial intelligence technology in the coming years. With its abundant natural gas resources and increasing independent production capabilities, Saudi Arabia has the potential to offer affordable power to data centers that require significant energy for AI operations, making its ambitions more feasible. Earlier this year, the U.S. government prohibited the sale of NVIDIA's latest graphics processing units to several countries in the Middle East. Additionally, the U.S. has already enacted export bans related to countries like China and Russia. Some nations in the region have also faced accusations of sending shipments to Russia. The U.S. aims to maintain its position as the world's leader in artificial intelligence. Therefore, from a national security perspective, it makes sense for the government to limit the sale of advanced AI chips to specific countries. Impact on NVIDIA NVIDIA is a leading advanced chip maker globally, and its graphics processing units, or GPUs, have become the backbone of the infrastructure that powers AI-focused data centers. Therefore, any restrictions on the sales of advanced chips could significantly impact the company. The Middle East has emerged as one of the fastest growing regions for data centers. Similar to major U.S. tech companies that are racing to build data centers for AI supremacy, Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates, or UAE, are also making significant investments in this area. Additionally, large cloud providers are turning their attention to the region. Earlier this year, Amazon announced a deal with Saudi Arabia to construct data centers within the kingdom, expected to become operational by 2026. Overall, Amazon plans to invest over $5 billion in these projects, which will support local companies' workloads. Alphabet, the parent company of Google and Microsoft, are also active in the region, with Microsoft assisting in the development of the UAE's sovereign cloud network. NVIDIA's GPUs are in high demand, meaning the company is likely to face minimal impact in the near to medium term if a chip export cap is placed on Middle Eastern countries. This is because any shipments designated for the Middle East would likely be quickly acquired by other buyers. Major U.S. tech companies and well-funded AI startups, such as OpenAI and XAI, continue to have an insatiable need for NVIDIA's GPUs as they race to build their AI infrastructure. Investments related to AI infrastructure are on the rise, and industry leaders like Alphabet and Meta Platforms have indicated that their biggest risk concerning AI is underinvestment. As large language models require increasingly more computing power, and thus more GPUs, for training, NVIDIA is struggling to keep up with the overwhelming demand. While a chip export cap could affect shipments to the Middle East, these countries would still require chips for their AI initiatives. NVIDIA may have the opportunity to sell less advanced chips or slightly older technology to the region to fill this gap. The company is accelerating its design cycle to once per year, 
making it possible to sell its current hopper chips to the region in a couple of years, once its Rubin chip becomes the newest technology. NVIDIA has also created AI chips tailored for specific markets, like China, that comply with export regulations. This could be another avenue for the future. For now, however, NVIDIA will focus on its most advanced chips. Given the strong demand for NVIDIA's products and the feedback from its largest customers, the stock remains a solid buy, as even a chip export cap is unlikely to hinder its growth. Give us a like if you like our video, subscribe and ring the bell to never miss out. Check our patron for an inside look on what are the best buy and sell stocks every week.